What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to generate an Autel Universal key for a Hyundai or a Kia. We're using the Autel KM100 and an Autel Universal key. This is their Hyundai Kia style Universal key. Now what I'm going to do is go to our Universal key option on the key tool main menu, top left here. And from there it's going to allow us to search by make and model. Now for today's example, I'm going to do a 2013 Hyundai Genesis. I've also so happened to have an aftermarket key that is for that vehicle, not a universal key. So I'm going to show you some reference material here. We've got two FCC ID numbers on the sticker. We've got the 2A0K, and then we have our SY5HMFNA04. We'd want to take note of both of those, as you might see both of those. Now it's probably going to be impossible to see, but there's some scribbling on that key. It gives me this top FCC ID number. Now let's go to the key tool and see what we can find. I'm going to select Hyundai, and then I'm going to go find Genesis. I can search by model too and what I've noticed with Hyundai and Kia is that there's a ton of options so here's some Genesis options right here I noticed on our sticker that it, it clarified this is only for a sedan so I'm gonna skip past coupe see all these letters that I really don't know what that means and look at that I, I've even scrolled a little past where the Genesis options end and I see Genesis sedan right here so let's select that and see what options are in front of us. Now I have 2008 to 2014 or 2015 to 2016. Well, we're going to do this first option as that's within our model year. And as if you notice at the bottom, our reference FCC ID is our SY5HMFNA04. That's our second FCC ID listed on this paper. I probably wouldn't be able to find that first one too easily on this key tool. So I'm pointing that out so you do your research ahead of time. Now let's make the key. We'll select that option and it's going to instruct us to put the key into the antenna ring of the KM100 and then we'll hit generate universal key. So I put my key in there. I'm going to hit generate universal key and this might take some time. I've noticed, especially on the Hyundais and Kias, it, it takes a while. So make sure you don't move the key around. If it fails, try to flip it around, flip it to the other side, but just make sure it's stable in the antenna so you get that consistent reading and writing of the files. One thing I'm also going to point out while we're waiting for this is that if you do order the brand-specific Autel Universal keys, like the Hyundai, the Kia, uh, they have some General Motors ones. They all come with emergency keys. And what's weird is they advertise on their websites and on vendors that they do not come with emergency keys. Uh, but everyone I've ordered has one. So it's very helpful. You don't have to keep a bunch of keys in your van hoping you'll use them one day. Uh, most of these are done by now, but as you see, we're, we're just about 75% the way. We're hoping to see some green check marks and a uh, completed sign. And there we have it. Universal key programming, key generation completed. Do you want to continue? We're going to hit completed. If you hit continue, it's going to make you start all over. It's like if you want to do enough, more than one. All right, so as in my other videos, what we're gonna do is fact check the work. We'll go to read and cloning. We're gonna check that this is the right chip type reading. There we go, ID 46. That's what we wanna see for this year and model. Now we're gonna go to frequency detection. And as it showed us, uh, we're expecting in the 300s I believe it was 315 there we go 315 so 
I'm pretty confident I can program this remote to the vehicle now. Just make sure you double check your work before you press the buttons. I hope this helps. Thank you for your time.